in a faraway place among high mountains, a nation lies. Its name is Yerak. In the past, people around there discovered that catastrophes would never bother the place, so they gathered and gathered. It's not like someone would go and stop them. Then they built settlements between the peaks and crests, and those would merge into the township of Turico. Today, some unprecedented changes are happening in and around this quaint old town. To which we have a few names, like Mr. Enciodes, Mr. Genosis, Enya the Blessed, and the one and only Black Knight to thank for. To show gratitude to the snowy mountains, it is a tradition in Yerak that every household will erect small statues of the goddess Yeragander. Those, however, are no match for this grand new monument realized by the power of imported machinery. Aren't they magnificent? The great temple of Hof Angersal had been refusing outsiders for centuries. But just one year ago, a cable car station was built in the square adjacent to the Hof. A few coins and guests are free to promenade from the majestic terraces all the way to the sublime peaks. Trinkets, produce, ready-made delicacies. The Yerak Stadtbahn is always happy to serve their soup to nuts to the respected Yerak pass holders. A luncheon with burden beasts is also an experience to be had nowhere else. Mountain burden beasts used to be a symbol of wealth. Now, instead of old drug ears, they are equipped with high-tech saddles to carry racers from all across the land. Through the mountain tracks that used to be less traveled, these beasts gallop toward the valley finish lines. For the people of Yerak, the future is not something to be worried about. All around Lake Silberne Herze, it seems that a beautiful and welcoming nation is being built by these happy people. But Yerig, <laughs> those rustics are still at the start.